Hello guys, this is Danal, coming at you again with another Mega Constructs video. And in today's episode, I'm actually starting a brand new series. Yeah, that's right. Um, so recently I made a community post and that post got, um, uh, you know, it wasn't, it was unrelated to the topic, but someone commented suggesting I do pop and swap videos. And that comment got a couple likes, so I th thought, hey, I've been wanting to make those anyway, why not just start? So here I am, here we are. So uh, if you aren't familiar with a, what a pop and swap is, it's a term coined by the uh, Halo Mega community um, to differentiate them from customs. So a pop and swap is when you take parts from one or more figures and then put them onto another figure, uh, popping off parts and swapping them between. Uh, the reason that term is necessary is because custom could include things like uh you know new parts decals gluing painting stuff like that um I'm, i'd be surprised if you didn't know what a pop and swap was but there's your quick definition so um for t the start of the pop and swap series um we have my take on the definitive mega constructs hyperius um Hyperius is a brute from Halo Infinite. He has been, um, he has, uh, came in two different, uh, sets and series in Mega form so far. And I think both of them are just kind of okay, but put together, I think there's a really good figure in there. And that's what we have today. Um, so, uh, I'll go through the different ones we got here. So we have Defense Point Showdown Hyperius. We have the Halo Heroes Series 14 Hyperius, and we have my definitive custom in the middle. So yeah, I'll go through the custom and I'll show you where the parts are from. So here we have the Defense Point Showdown Hyperius. So part of the, the reason the uh, mega versions of Hyperius are kind of iffy is because they the uh, Defense Point Showdown, for example, is one of the Halo Infinite sets that came out a Full year before the game did because the game actually got delayed if you didn't know um and so i think a lot of stuff was based off concept art and so hyperius doesn't look quite how he does in game so i'm gonna go through the, the qualities of the first one we have then i'll move to the second then i'll move to the custom as i go along i'll talk about which parts are used for the custom and which ones aren't so starting out for this hyperius we have a bunch of new molds actually um, we have a brand new one for his very special helmet. Um, we have the new waist cape or cloth piece, you can call it, loincloth, I suppose. Uh, that's not exclusive, but, you know, he's one of the characters that introduced it. Um, I believe one of these is new ar armor. I think it's this one for the Brutes. He uses the Halo 3, uh, Brute Feet. Brand new piece for his shoulder, which is the lock helmet. Uh, if you're a fan, I assume you've heard about that tons of times. But um, Hyperius is said to have fought Captain Spartan Lock. Captain Spartan Lock. Um, and we don't know what happened. He clearly did some damage, took part of his armor and his, and his, and his uh, helmet. But we don't know if Locke is alive or dead. So pretty mysterious and very cool they made that piece. We have a brand new jetpack, which may look very similar to the one we have um, from like the Halo 3 jump brutes and things, but this one actually has the peg moved down so that it fits on a better spot for Hyperius. Because if not, the backpack would be kind of be sitting like, you can kind of see it like, it'd be sitting like here, which would not look very good. You want to higher up. Which, so it's good they made that. And then he also came with a printed gravity hammer. So, um, a weird thing about both Hyperius is, is that they both come with gravity hammers. And if you played Halo Infinite, he doesn't use one. <laughs> Neither him nor his brother, brother Tavares use gravity hammers. He uses a Ravager. So that's quite odd that they did that. But, um, yeah, so... This gravity hammer, I actually don't give it to him. I give it to my Eshram figure because, honestly, with the red paint here, it looks kind of similar to the um, Eshram's hammer. The name is slipping my mind. Um, 
It is the Diminisher of Hope. Yes, this looks similar to the Diminisher of Hope. Obviously, the Diminisher of Hope has like a more of a blade coming off of it, but it looks pretty similar. So I use it for that. So let's go through Hyperius, the pieces I do and don't use for the custom. So the chest plate has some little red printing there. You can kind of see it. I'll, I'll point to it here if you can't. Right there. Hard to see with the glare. Sorry about that, but yeah. Uh, I don't use the chest plate. Um, there's a difference with the head, with the helmet. Um, he also uses the Craig head, by the way. Um, he uses the custom Hyperius. He uses these forearms as well as these hands, which have printed on skin. So you can see like it's like, you know, kind of like a glove, like a fingerless glove hand kind of thing. Um, he also has the feet printed with um, the armor on. So that's extra printing. I use these feet for the um, the custom. And that's, um, and also uh, this shoulder pad has no printing. So yeah, those are the parts I use. Then let's move on to the um, Heroes type, uh, Hyperius. Um, this is not the shoulder pad I use. I think I use a shoulder pad from this one, though it's not that big of a deal. They're basically the same. So this Hyperius here is a stand. This is one figure I'm get, that's going to be in the Halo Heroes series. We just have not gotten to him yet. He also comes with a gravity hammer. Quite odd because he still does not use it. This one has very different printing from last time. Pretty interesting. So this Hyperius, um, he might he might seem very similar on the surface, but I promise you he's quite different. Um, compared to, I'll, I'll compare them side by side. He uses um, he does not have this feet printed. They're all they're, there's no printing on the feet. They're all gray, but um, they're all just grayed out. But this one has like the multicolored, as you can see. Same uh, left thigh piece. He uses a lighter on the armor for like kind of the banished rugged look of the difference. Um, I don't know if, what would you call it, but like the different armor pieces they slap together. That's what Hyperius's look is after. Like the like this is actually a jaw of a creature. Um, he has red on the chest plate in the middle here. Awesome printing there, as well as the loin cloth, which this one uses both. So, he, so far, this guy uses, the custom uses this thigh piece, and the loin, and the chest. And you can see the Captain Locke helmet is a little bit different. It just kind of shows up more blue. I think either of them are fine. Honestly, I have no preference. I think they both look good. Uh, I think this one's a little bit nicer because you can see more of the visor. Here's the arms. And then, again, for some reason, this Hyperius does not show the skin. He uses black hands they're all it's all blacked out and i think this is so much better being able to have that extra printing it gives a lot more depth to the figure um then another like one of the most major differences backpack is the same the most major difference between them i would say overall is the helmets um you can see back hyperius actually has like long hair i believe or it's like coming out the back of like a it's like like a wig or something like that i don't know it's weird but hyperius his hair is definitely more orange than it is like tan, as well as you have the job uh, painted in or molded, painted, I think it's painted in gray here and a more accurate tan for that, that creature jaw that looks more like a bone, doesn't it? As well as a big banish symbol on the helmet, which this one does not have. Um, of the two figures, I think they're equally decent. Like I said, this one qualities are the extra printing of the red on here and the helmet looks so much better but this one it has the fingerless gloves like uh i guess you'd call the printing on the gloves as well as the feet so they're both um flawed in their own ways and so i put them together to make my definitive hyperius which i'll show you now i'm pretty proud of this um it took a lot of considering and looking at pictures of the fig of the character and stuff but so I'll go through. So he uses, uh, I'll, I'll just go say, so remember, Defense Point Showdown, Halo Heroes. I'm just gonna say which one they're from. So this one uses the shoulder pad from this guy. Honestly, all of the right arm um, from, both arms are from the uh, Defense Point Showdown with the printing you see here. But something I forgot to mention, 
with this, this guy, he has a black torso compared to his, which is gray. And so I think the black looks better, more contrast. So he uses the black torso. He has, um, on this side, he uses the lock shoulder pad from him. Oh, I just use this. Um, helmet from him because it has the extra, like I said before. Uh, so I actually, this did not come with either of them. This is the Ravager. This is actually what Hyperius uses in game. This is his weapon of choice. Um, I'd love to have given him a printed one if we had one, but we don't have a printed Ravager yet. Um, you can get it in a, in a couple sets, but it's, uh, they're not an easy weapon to come by. Um, for the chest plate, he uses his as well as his loincloth in the middle there. Then for the legs, we use it from this guy. Um, and then the, the right, uh, left thigh comes from him with the lighter that matches the, uh, the jawbone. So yeah, that's the, all, all the pieces I use for my Definitive Hyperius. What do you think? So yeah, that about wraps up the first episode of the Pop and Swap series. Uh, thank you again for uh, suggesting and uh, showing support and everything. So what do you think of my, my custom Hyperius? What do you think? Um, should I, am I using some pieces that I shouldn't? Should, am I not utilizing some good pieces from these guys? Um, but honestly, I think I got it pretty spot on if I do say so myself. Um, I don't think Mega needs to make a new Hyperius, honestly. Um, I don't think they need to make a new one. Both that we have currently, the official ones are fine. They're both, they both get the job done. I would prefer the Defense Point Showdown if I had to pick between the two. Um, but I think, uh, if you get, if you happen to get both, it's definitely worth combining. I think they look, he looks super cool in his current form. I think it's just the best way to go. Um, and yeah, let me know. If you have a custom Hyperius, what you want to see for pop and swaps, I'm thinking about making a, uh, another video of just brutes, and I have next video for pop and swaps will actually be my um, the pop and swap I'm most proud of. Uh, I have one that's uh, I'm really proud of. It's a character that's not actually official, be even made in mega form yet. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, leave suggestions in the comments. Thanks for all the support. Have a good one.